All right, today I'm going to be learning you the best day one loot locations in Rosewood in Project Zomboid. Right away, we're gonna load in, get prepared for, for the playthrough, grab some food if there's any. Got some ice cream, cool. So you can really loot anywhere you want to, but I wanna show you in Rosewood like the best locations that you're gonna find some cool stuff right off the bat. So if you haven't already, um, PZ interactive map is something that you should definitely be using when you're playing and don't know the map very well of any town that you're playing and I think it's just PZ interactive map.com or something like that you can just look that up on Google and you'll probably find it yeah so that's kind of the first place that I like to go is the Rosewood fire station so when it comes to Rosewood finding this main road that goes kind of left and right is kind of gonna be how you're gonna make your way around town or easily find your way back to where you're trying to go so for the fire station you're just gonna want to head down on that road pretty much the very last thing on this road and what i usually like to do um if i'm not kind of speed running is try to get through through the back just because it's a little bit easier you don't have to deal with as many zombies right away so yeah and then you can kind of just sneak through and open one of these windows on the side And if the alarm goes off, well, yeah, that's kind of bad luck. Um, you can restart if you want to, but if not, then you're good. You made it inside of the fire station. Day one, this is awesome loot. So this is the room that's got pretty much some good stuff that you're going to want to look for. Yeah, see right here we got an axe. This is one of the better weapons in Project Zomboid. So we got an axe here. We even got a wood axe, which is good. But for now, the axe will do just fine. And in this room here, uh, there is actually some medical supplies. So you can go ahead and grab these. In the middle room, usually there's medical supplies. And if you're gonna use this as your base, then you're probably gonna wanna open these garage doors so they don't the zombies don't break them down. There is a chance for some fire vehicles to spawn outside and just normal vehicles as well. But yeah, just kind of the same thing. You can kill zombies close to them to find a key if there isn't one already in here. But who knows, you might get lucky. And look at that, there's a key to the truck. So right away we spawned in, we got an ax and we also got a key or a car, I should say. There's no gas. All right, so right across from the fire station is actually the police station, which is another good place to loot day one. Um, usually, there's gonna be some like cigarettes or lighters in here, and if there's not, then you can get those at the gas station. But I'll show you the rooms in here once I get rid of these zombies. All right, so we already got a shotgun and a pistol, a double holster, a backpack, an axe and potentially a car all right so we're inside the police station which is right across from the fire station on the main road and this is the first room that you're going to want to check uh see these desks we're already finding cigarettes in them which if you take the smoker perk which is kind of a free perk to take is good see we already found a lighter and some cigarettes and some matches yeah so basically if you pick the smoker perk you are set for a little bit and there's also going to be a water cooler in here, uh, I think is what it's called, which is good. You can pick that up with the uh, pickup button on the side here and bring it over to wherever you're basing up at. Which, um, there's a few of these in Rosewood, but basically the police station has one, if you didn't know. Here's the door to the armory. It's probably locked. If it's locked, well, you can just hit the door down with your axe. Doesn't take that many swings. The axe is pretty OP for opening doors. And look at that, we're broken into the armory and we already have, look at this, we got a box of shotgun shells, box of nine mil. Shotgun is really good for training, loading and shooting. Uh, so if you're first starting out with guns in Project Zomboid, the shotgun's the way to go. And you'll definitely find some stuff in the armory. And that's a good way to start uh, training your shooting. So yeah, the police station and the fire station, we're not even halfway through our day yet. And we already got guns, backpack, 
potentially a car, an axe. All right, so I'll fill up this truck and then I'll show you guys another good loot spot. All right, so I just put enough gas in here to be able to go to the Rosewood gas station. And if you're at the fire station, then you just take a right on this main road. And the gas station is gonna be one of the last buildings to the right on the right hand side of this main road and day one it is a fantastic loot spot you can get maps you can get cigarettes and lighters you can get a little bit of food and I'll show you something else that's pretty neat about the gas station the top of it yeah I must have had something with the settings uh, for the <laughs> for the settings that I picked I picked a preset and I must have just had a lot of cars but you probably won't get that lucky to find a car like that just right away but you can you can find a car like that pretty fast especially in rosewood so we use some of our guns and ammo and the first car is a burner car to wipe out pretty much most of the zombies in the vicinity um and now now we basically taken over the gas station which is another good spot in rosewood to loot If it's getting close to night time when you get to this point, then you have a nice area to go to sleep. Just make sure to clear it first. Alright, so basically, day one, we got pretty geared, and there's definitely a lot more places to loot in rosewood but these are basically like the top three locations day one to hit up especially if you just want to get geared really fast and uh, kind of speed run your way to having like the best loot on day one and i'll probably do a video later on on like days one through seven uh what you should be looting in rosewood because there's like some residential areas there's the grocery store and um, then it also in that video, I can show you what's going to be the best base location or base locations in Rosewood and uh, how to fortify them and kind of gear up for the later months. And yeah, I like to choose the fire station or the gas station as my first base location. And you can definitely fortify a crazy armory and park cars in the fire station and fill you know shelves with food and even if you're playing with like a bigger group of people the fire station has plenty of beds and you can even make your own or bring more beds in but yeah that's the top three locations in my opinion to loot on day one in rosewood if you like the video uh, please stick around and subscribe and i'll see you next time